Hey there, um, working on the 69 Seaver experiment, and we're looking at the month of May for 1969 for Seaver. We're comparing and contrasting. Let's take a look real quick here at what happened. In the month of May, it was a real tough month for Seaver in that he got absolutely no run support. And the hits are down now. You have to take into consideration um, that... Uh, I've been playing leadoff batter hits as actually having to be by the leadoff batter, whereas it could be a leadoff batter in an inning. So I'm adjusting that, and also the I, I may have been missing some of the prospect hits that uh, that Seaver gets on. Um, let's see. Three, four, four. Some of the prospect hits that Seaver gets on 344, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I'm going to improve as I go. So here it is. He was 2 and 5 in the replay. Um, but in reality, he was 5 and 1. In the replay, he went 47 and a third. In reality, he went 47. Now, this is a pretty big difference here. In the replay, he gave up 21 hits, whereas in actuality, he gave up 38. Um, I don't know how he can give up 38 hits and 13 walks while only allowing 14 runs. That's pretty amazing there. He got out of trouble many, many times. Um, also, he gave up 12 hits in the replay, 14 hits in, uh, I'm sorry, runs, four, 12 runs in reality and 14 runs in uh, reality and 12 runs in the replay. In the replay, he walked 19. In reality, he walked 13. Strikeouts were 35 to 25, so he struck out more players in the replay than in reality. And in the replay, he gave up five home runs, while in actuality, he only gave up two in the month of May. So now we're going to start off the month of June, and we're going to play a game. Pretty late here, but I took a nap, so I'm kind of awake. So I'll probably get through this one game, and then uh, I'll... Uh, I'll cool down and uh, and probably get to bed. Okay, so what happened was uh, I couldn't find Foster. It doesn't seem he was carded, so I pulled. I kind of looked and uh, looked for somebody on the team that was very similar in terms of ERA and so forth, and it was Don Drysdale. So I just copied Don Drysdale card. I spoke to a couple of guys and they kind of gave me the thumbs up on it. So he's a semi workman and a control. He pitched. Uh, he had 15 starts. Had a four. 40 ERA around there. Uh, not a very good pitcher, so the Mets finally get a pitcher that's not top quality ace standard, like the pictures that uh, Seaver normally faces. So that's what's been going on. The Mets have been facing a lot of really great pitchers. In today's case, they pitch, uh, they face Alan Foster. So let's see what happens if they can um, take advantage. The Mets are at home. So we're going to put that there and the uh, Visitor pitchers, we put the home pitcher. There we go. And we're going to get started uh, with Willie Crawford, followed by Willie Davis, Wes Parker batting third, Andy Costco fourth, Tom Haler fifth, Bill Sedaka sixth, Jim LaFay seventh, eighth is Tom, Ted Sizemore, and then ninth is the pitcher. So let's get started. Let's say 1 1 2. Flash, Seaver is flash, so it's a strikeout. And it's going to be Willie Davis. 1 4 5. Is he struggler? No. Ground out to the first baseman. And the first baseman, Cranepool, takes it two away. It's going to be Wes Parker. Wes Parker batted uh, 278 with 13 home runs in 1969. 2 4 6. So a ground ball back to the pitcher. Seaver over to first, three away. So that's the that's it for the first inning. And we go to the bottom half of the inning. It's gonna be Buddy Harrelson leading off, Tommy Agee, and then Garrett batting third. Jones, the left fielder, 
batting fourth. Fifth is Ed Cranepool, first baseman. Right fielder is Ron Swoboda, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Jerry Grody, the catcher. Al Weiss batting eighth, the second baseman, and then the pitcher, Tom Seaver. So let's do that. And it's a four, five, six. Is he patient? No, it's a fly out to center field. Tommy Agee. Two, two, five. Pitcher of the star, no. Slugger or sad sack, no. Single to center field. Active steals, he's not active, so AG singles. We have Wayne Garrett. It's two, three, four. We're on base play drama, so we're gonna do some play drama. It's four six on play drama, four six catcher iron. No. Better let's fast we'll go by strike. One three five. One three five is gonna go all the way down to unusual play result with a red one. And a black five. It's a highlight reel. And it's a two two on a highlight reel. Highlight reel B. Highlight this is a rare play. Say one six. Batter thrown out trying to stretch double into triple. To determine length of it, oh, and then there's an injury, but I'm not playing injuries. So, it's a double for Garrett. That's going to drive in an RBI double for Garrett, and he's thrown out, um, he's a lefty, so he's thrown out 9, 4, 2. And that's 2 away, but the Mets score 1 run, and it's Cleon Jones. Say one three five. And it's again back to the unusual play with a black one. So that's going to be a ballpark. A ballpark at Shea Stadium. Say six six. And it's going to be a small ballpark. Uh, no, it's a normal ballpark. Otherwise, they'll fly out to the warning track. So he is a, a righty batter, so he's going to fly out to left field. There you go, and the Mets pick up one run, and we go to the top of the second. one nothing, Mets. So it's a 1-2-5. One, 1-2-5, two, five. One, two, five. is he a struggler? No. Is he patient? No, it's a ground ball to the third baseman, unless he's a whiffer, and he is a strikeout. Second strikeout for Seaver, and this is Tom Haller, the catcher. Now, Tom Haller uh, batted 263 with six home runs and 39 runs batted in. 345, 345, iron catcher, no, good eye, no, strikeout, and go to the right now. Third strikeout for Seaver. We go to the baseball right now for um, Sudeikis, Bill Sudeikis. One, two, is it a hot batter? No. So it's a ground ball right at Harrelson. Harrelson over to Cranepool. Three up, three down. Seaver's retired six in a row. We go to the bottom of the second inning. It's a two five six. Two five six. Struggling with some balls, champion or patient. He's neither. Infield drama. Say three five. Third baseman, iron, no. Otherwise, it's a ground out. So it's a five, two, three. 
one away. Ron's Roboda. A one five six. Is he a whiffer? He is a whiffer, and that's a strikeout. And Jerry Grody. Three five five. Struggler, no champion. No ground out. Unless he's a whiffer, the side die says yes. So it's a strikeout. Three up, three down. We go to the top of the third. One nothing Mets. And it's Jim LaFay. He's the second baseman for the Dodgers. Jim LaFay in 69 uh, batted 236 with four home runs and 44 RBIs. And it's 236. 236. Okay, double control, no. Seaver has semi control, but it says no semi control. So pitcher batting, no, it's a walk. 2 3 6. So LeFay manages a walk, a leadoff walk against Tom Seaver. And it's a 4 4 4. Is he a scrapper? Yes, he is. So it's a solid single to left field. Runner advances two bases. First and third. And it's going to be the pitcher, Foster. He's going to bunt. One. And that's going to be safe at first. Runners advance. Roll and die to see if it's a single or an error. Single? Yes, it is. So it's an infield hit. Bases are now loaded. Bases are now loaded. And that's going to score a run. So it's one to one. And then Willie Crawford. So it's one to uh, well, first and second. And Willie Crawford is going to bunt. And that's a five. A five is a runner's advance. So that's one away. And you have second and third now, with only one out. Willie Davis against Tom Terrific here in the top of the third. It's four five six, four five six. Patient was a walk, fly out to center field, runner on third score. So it's going to be a sacrifice fly. Two away. Foster the pitchers at second base. It's be West Parker. West Parker grounded back to Seaver in his last at bat. Let's say three four six, three four six. Eager, no. It's a walk. So it's first and second now, and it's Andy Costco. Three three six, three three six. Ace, yes he is, so it's a fly out to center field. Okay, but the Dodgers pick up two runs on one, two, two hits and two walks. And at the end of two and a half, it's Dodgers two, Mets one. We go to Al Weiss, second baseman for the Mets. Two five five. It's a fly ball left field, and that's uh, Crawford under it. And it's going to be Tom Terrific. See if Tom Terrific can help his own cause here and get a hit. It's one three six one three six. He's no whiffer or cold. He's a whiffer, so it's a strikeout. So Tom Terrific strikes out, and that's Foster's third strike out of the game. And we're looking at Buddy Harrelson here in the bottom of the third in a two-to-one game uh, with the Dodgers up one-one-six, one-one-six. If he's fresh, it's a strikeout. Yes, he is. Strikeout. Fourth strikeout. Top of the fourth. 
Tommy Haller. And it's a 366. 366 is a pinch hitter to fly out to center field. AG. Ted Sizemore. Oh, no. Guy's got out of whack here. Uh, oh, yeah, some guys fell out of my hand. Okay, so it's it's Bill Sudakis. Or Sudakis, if you will. Bill Sudakis. And it's 444 for Bill Sudakis. Scrapper. Is he a scrapper? 444. No, he is not. So it's a double to right field. Unless he's a home run king, which he isn't. So a double to right. One out double, and Sudakis is in at second standing. Jim LaFay. Let's say 256. 256. Uh, is he a struggler? No. Pitcher a struggler? No. Champion or patient? He's patient. The side of die says no. Infield drama. Let's say 2 4 on the infield drama. 2 4. Second baseman gold. No. Batter safe on first. On an error by the second baseman Weiss. Run at a third. So it's first and third, one out. And it's Ted Sizemore. 2-4-5. Hero, the side of that says no, he is not. It's a pop-out to second base. It's going to take us to the experience chart for the pitcher. Five six icon pitcher. No. Otherwise it's a batter thrown out at first. Ground ball. So it's gonna be a one to three. And that's all she wrote for the top of the fourth. They leave two on base on an error and a double. And it's uh, two to one Dodgers after three and a half. Four, five, six, Tommy Ag. Not patient, fly out to center field. One away, Wayne Garrett. Wayne Garrett doubled like his last time at bat and was thrown out at third trying to stretch it. Flies out to left field. There's Crawford. Two away. And it's Cleon Jones. Say one one five. One one five. Is he fresh? Here in the bottom of the fourth. Yes, he is. It's a pop fly to the shortstop. Three up, three down. We go to the top of the fifth. Two to one, Dodgers. It's gonna be Willie Crawford. He's 0 for 1 with a sacrifice. It's 116. Is he fresh? Yes, he is. A strikeout. Side die says yes, he is. It's a strikeout for Seaver. That's number four on the day. It's Willie Davis. He's 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly. 4 5 6. Fly ball center field. Two away. It's going to be Wes Parker. Wes Parker is uh, 0 for 1 with a walk. It's a ground ball to the uh, third baseman over to first. And we go to the experience chart for the Mets. It's 
say three, four, four. Is the pitcher a prospect? Well, the decided die says yes, he is, so it's a fence. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Alan Foster is a prospect, so it's fence. And Crane Pool is a slugger. Decided die says yes, he is a slugger. So we're going to roll one die on the slugger. See what happens there. Say one. So a slugger doubles. So Crane Pool leads the inning off with a double, and we go to Ron Swoboda. Ron Swoboda is going to get him to, he's going to bunt, he's going to get him to third. Say roll again on a different section. So one, safe at first, lead runner out. Oh my goodness gracious. So they throw out uh, Crane Pool one to five. And Swoboda's on fielder's choice. Goodness gracious. That, we don't want that to happen. Say one, one, four. If he's fresh, the side of the dice says no. Sad sack or patient. No, it's a single to right field. Runner advances one base, first and second now. So Grody's one for two. And it's Weiss. He flied out to left field in his last at bat. First and second, one out. Three, four, six. Three, four, six, eager. He's eager. The side of the dice says he is, so it's a fly ball center field. Two away. And it's Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver, two, three, three. Acer Star, no. Slugger, no. Fly ball center field. So the Mets come up empty here. They leave two men on base, and after uh, five innings of play, it's two to one Dodgers. Again, Seaver's not getting any run support, as usual. So I'm going to go to Andy Costco. Say two, four, five. So you high fly to the right side, pop up to the second baseman, Weiss, and Haller's going to be on the experience chart. And Haller, what is his experience? Is he 4'6"? He's an icon, 4'6". Icon pitcher. Okay, no. So it's a hard shot to shallow right field, great play by first baseman to the pitcher. So it's a 3-1. Great play by Cranepool to see recovering and two away in Sudeikis. Three sixes for Sudeikis. Is he an ace? Yes he is, so it's a fly ball right field. Bottom of the sixth. Two to one Dodgers. Buddy Harrelson. Let's say one four four. Flash no. Is he a hero? No. Ground out to shortstop. Buddy's over three on the day. AG's one for two. Fly it out to center field in his last at bat, singled in the first. So it's a two five six. A two five six. Struggling to know champion or patient. No, it's going to be infield drama. Infield drama four five. Shortstop iron. No, shortstop is goal. Uh, actually, no, it's just normal. So it's a shortstop bobbles the ball, but gets the gets the runner by a step. So it's a six three ground out the ball. So uh, it's Wayne Garrett here, and it's one three four. Cool catcher, no. Champion, no. Outfield drama. Two six on outfield drama. Two six center fielder stoic. Um, center fielder is Davis. Don't think he's stoic. No. So on. Uh, Outfield drama, center fielder stoic. No, otherwise it makes the grab. So it's fly ball center field. Three up, three down. 
end of the six innings of play. Two to one Dodgers. And we're going to go to uh, LeFay, the bottom of the order. Receiver. Say one, two, two. Work with no chance for a whiffer. No, it's a line out to the third baseman. So Garrett makes that grab. And Sizemore. Sizemore is one for two on the day. And it's a 2-3-3. Three, three. Two, three, three. Ace for star. Yes, he is. So it's a ground ball to shortstop Harrelson over to first. And it's the pitcher Foster. And it's a 1-2-6. One, 1-2-6. Two, six. One, two, six. Is he fresh? Decided die says no. Here in the top of the seventh. So it's a sad sack. He should be a sad sack. Yes, he is. It's a strikeout. So Foster strikes out. And that's his fifth strikeout of the game. And after six and a half, it's two to one Dodgers. Hopefully my battery my battery will last the uh, the whole game here. Clean Jones. One four five. Ground ball to the third baseman, over to first. One away, Eddie Cranepool. Four, six, six. Wow, no, home run king or slugger. Decided that he says he's a slugger, so he strikes out. Fifth strikeout for Foster. Ron Swoboda. Two five six. Champion or patient? No, infield drama. Three five. Third baseman iron. No. So it's a ground ball to the third baseman. Five three. So uh, Foster's retired eight in a row. Go to the top of the eighth. Mets need to get some runs for a receiver. Something they do not do. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Hot batters. Willie Crawford, the hot batter. No, he is not. It's a pop out to the third baseman. One away. It's going to be Davis. Davis is 0 for 2 with a sacrifice fly. One six six. It's a ground out to the third baseman. Five to three. And we go to the experience chart for West Parker. Four five. Prospect batter. Nope. So it's a ground ball batter out of first. And it's going to be a ground ball to the, uh, that's both, he's batting lefty, 4-3. Go to the bottom of the eighth. Mets are running out of time here. They need to get their bats going. Here's the bottom of the lineup. So, Seaver may get pulled. Let's see what happens. It's 5-5-6. Five, 5-5-6. Five, six. Five, five, six. Five five six is he an ace? No. Sat sack. No. It's a double to right field. Jerry Grody doubles to right field. It's a big hit. The tying run is now at second base. And Al Weiss is gonna bat. Jerry Grody at second. And the Mets are gonna bring in a pinch runner. To bring in probably Gasper to run. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. And the new catcher is probably going to be uh, J.C. Martin. So Gaspar is running. He's uh, playing a normal runner. See what happens. And it's a one four five. And he's a 
So it's a ground ball to the, let's say, uh, right-handed pitcher. So he's batting lefty, so he hits the ground ball to the first baseman. That moves Grody over. So Grody's on, I'm sorry, not Grody, um, Gasper's running for Grody. So we're going to have Tom Seaver now. And we're going to have to go to a pinch hitter for Tommy. So the best thing Tommy can get here is a no decision. And uh, we're going to see if we have Ken Kenny Boswell's going to... Kenny Boswell's going to pinch hit. So Casper ran for Grody. Bottom of the eighth. And now it's going to be Boswell... For Seaver, bottom of the eighth. Okay, let's see what happens here. Kenny Boswell, tying run is at third base against Alan Foster, who's having pitching a heck of a game. Let's say four, five, six, four, five, six. Patient, base on balls, no. Fly out to center field, and that's going to be a sacrifice fly. In comes Gaspar, pinch running. And uh, big sacrifice fly for Kenny Boswell. And we're going to have top of the order now, Bud Harrelson. So the Mets tied it up. It's 2-2 two two here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And it's 4-4-5. Four, 4-4-5. Four, five. Four, four, five. Is he a workman? He is a workman. Semi workman decided I says no. Patient, no. Ground ball to first base. All right, so the Mets tie it. So Seaver's going to get a no decision. It's two to two going to the top of the ninth. And we're going to get uh, Tug McGraw, you got to believe, out of the bullpen. I think they call it a bullpen. There's a lot of bull. We talk a lot of bull over there. All right, so Tug McGraw. You got to believe Tug McGraw. Okay, see what happens. So it's going to be Andy Costco. J.C. Martin's the new catcher for the Mets, but throw him in there. J.C. Martin against Costco. Here in the top of the ninth, 2-2. Two, 3-5-6, two. Three, 3-5-6. Six. Three, six. So they're the same, righty versus lefty. So no. Utility or sad sack? No. So they single down the uh, batting righty, third base line. So leadoff batter, singles. We have Tom Haller. Tom Haller will uh, bunt. Say five. Five is a sacrifice. So runner on second now. Scoring position. Bill Sudeikis. Batting from the right side against the lefty McGraw. Five, five, six. Five, five, six. Ace. McGraw is an ace. So it's a line out to the third baseman. Two away. And uh, now we have. Lafay. And it's a 2-3-3. Three, three. Ace or star? Yes, it is. So it's a ground ball. Hit right at Harrelson for the third out. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. 2-2 two, two game. It's going to be Tommy Agee. Garrett and Jones, the heart of the order. Against Alan Forster. It's a 1-5-6. 1-5-6. Is he a whiffer? He is a whiffer. Decided that says no, so it's outfield drama. Outfield drama, 23. Center fielder, iron, no. Otherwise, it fly out. Fly out to center, one away for AG. Be Wayne Garrett. We're running out of battery here. So it's going to be a 3-3-4. Three, 3-3-4. Three, four. Three, three, four. Acer, star. 
No. Sad sack. No, it's a single to left. Unless he's eager. Single to left, so Garrett is on. He's two for t uh, four on the day. It's going to be clean on Jones. Let's say 135. 135 is going to be unusual results. A blue one with a runner on first. Let's be a 1 4. A 1 4. Lean in umpire at home. It said suit all. He's respected, so that's a no. So it's other umpire strike three, you're out. So they strike out Jones. That's his sixth strike out of the game. That's Ed Cranepool. Let's say one five six. If he's a whiffer, no, he's not. Outfield drama. See what happens here. Outfield drama. Five six outfield drama. Five six left fielder. Iron no. Otherwise, it's a looping fly ball that's caught. The right fielder's iron, but the left fielder's not. So it's a fly ball. It's a seven, and the Mets leave one here in the bottom of the ninth. It's two to two. We go to the tenth inning. It'll be Ted Sizemore and the pitcher pitcher spot. Looks like we're going to run out of battery going into extra innings. 566. Six, six, 566. Six. Still have McGraw in there. Good eye. He's a semi good eye. Decided to die. Says no. Strike out and go to the blue. McGraw is not wild. So it's a strike out and we go to the blue. It's going to be a pinch, uh, pinch hitter. And the pinch hitter is going to be, let's see, Gabrielson, Grabarkowitz, and Brewer. Those are guys that played in this game. Uh, let's see if I can find those guys. Guys, when we if we uh, lose it, uh, we lose it. I'm telling you, the battery is dying here on this. So I'm sorry if you're watching it. It's a great game, but I'll uh, post the uh, the scorecard. So you can see who won. And it's taking me a long time to thumb through these cards. Gabrielson. Okay. Gabrielson is going to... Uh, he's a lefty. Let's bring in... Uh, where's the other one? Grabakowitz. There he is. Grabakowitz. Billy Grabakowitz. He's going to bat. For the pitcher spot. With one out. And he's on the experience chart, I believe. He's a prospect. Let's say 2 4. Icon batter, no, otherwise it's a ground out. So, 4 Foster. 6 3, 2 away, and it's going to be Crawford now. Willie Crawford. Let's say three three four. Three three four. It's ace, yes he is. It's a pop out to the first baseman. Alright, so that's it for the top of the tenth inning. We go to the bottom of the tenth, score two two. And it's gonna be Ron Swoboda. Martin. And uh, Weiss. So we'll go to Martin and Weiss. Say one, three, four. Goal catcher, no. Champion, no. Outfield drama. Say one, three. Center fielder, iron, no. Otherwise, a lunging catch. Great catch by the center fielder. One away. So it's going to be Martin. Let's see if we can find him in this pile. I just threw him in there. There he is. Take Rody out. All right, two four five, two four five. 
hero singles. Now pop out the second base and we go to the player experience. Pop to four player experience with uh, Weiss. Let's see what happens here. Got work tomorrow, but I'm playing late. One four. Prospect batter, no. So it's a bloop single. So Weiss singles. And it's the spot, it's uh, the pitcher spot, McGraw, so McGraw is not going to bat. And we are going to bring Koonsen, and to bat we're going to bring in Art Shamsky. Um, we had to pull a pitcher, the pitcher is going to be Brewer, I believe, for the, I never switched pitchers, but Brewer's in there, just didn't come. Let's see, Brewer, Feet, Relief Pitcher, yep, Jim Brewer, the closer, is in there. And it's going to be Shamsky for McGraw. It's going to be a C, well, actually a B. A C. There. Okay. Archamsky. He's got a little bit of power. He's a hero. Home run king, semi home run king. Let's see what happens against Brewer. Lefty against lefty. Let's see, 115. 115. Five. Is he fresh? Yes, he is. He is fresh. So it's a pop up. Pop to the shortstop. And that's the third out. <sighs> so we go to the 11th inning. Go to the 11th inning. And it's 2 2. Willie Davis. Against Cal Coons. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No, it's a fly out the center. Went away. It's West Parker batting. Wes Parker, it's 4-4-5, four, 4-4-5. Four, five. Four, four, five. Is he a workman? Calkins is a workman, so it's a double to right field. It's going to be Costco now. Oh. 3-3-4, three, 3-3-4, three, three, four. Three, three, four. ace or star. It's not an ace or star. Sad sack lines out. Nope, it's a single to left. Unless he is a eager, which he is, eager batter grounds out. Runner advances one base, so he grounds out to the third baseman. I'm sorry, to the shortstop up the middle. Shortstop gets to it, throws over to first, but that allows Parker to get to third. So the go-ahead run is on a third base. Tom Haller is batting, and it's a one four six one four six. Flash, he semi flash, the side die says yes, so it's strikeout. So Coons gets out of that jam. And after 10 and a half, 2 2. Go to the bottom of the 11th inning. Buddy Harrelson's leading it off, top of the lineup for the, uh, for the Mets against Jim Brewer. It's 2 3 6. Double control, no. Pitcher batting, no. Based on balls. So, Harrelson walks. AG. I'll let AG bat. Say 2 4 6. 2 4 6. Control, no. Eager, sad sack. 
No. Based on balls. Back to back walks. First and second now with Wayne Garrett, the batter. First and second. And we're going to bunt with Garrett. See what happens here. Six. That's not good. Got to roll again on the other. Six. Strikeout. All right. So Garrett had a great opportunity and uh, didn't produce. Okay. It's going to be Jones and Cranepool, first and second. These are the guys you want to have up right now. Against Jim Brewer, the bottom of the 11th inning. 3 3 5. Is he wild? No. 3 3 5. Sat sack. No, he is not. Single to right. And that's runners advance two bases. Walk off. Single. Cleon Jones. Harrelson scores. The Mets celebrate. And the Mets win it in 11 innings by a score of 3 to 2. Exciting game. We'll double check that result. 3 3 5. It's wild. No. Sad sack. Absolutely not. Single to right field. Runners advance two bases on any hit. There was a runner on second base. Harrelson. He walked. Game over. Brewer gets the loss. Seaver gets no decision today. Coons gets the win. Seaver will look at what he did. He went, uh... Yeah. Uh, Seaver went, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight innings. Uh, he gave up one, two, three, three hits. In reality, he gave up three hits. Went eight innings. He gave up uh, two run. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Top of the third, it was, yeah, a walk, a single, and a sacrifice fly with the two runs. Okay. He gave up two runs, same as in reality. He walked uh, one, two. Same as in reality, and he struck out five. In reality, he struck out nine. He gave up no home runs. In reality, he gave up one. So let's look at the stats for Seaver in this game. It's a no decision. In reality, he won it. But all the stats, eight innings pitched, three hits, two earned runs, two walks, and nine strikeouts versus five. So the only real difference is the uh, victory and the strikeout total and plus he gave up in actuality gave up one home run in this game he gave up none so there you go for the Seaver experiment um, again uh, very little run support but uh, he gets out of this one without the loss at least um, and this was a pitcher I thought the Mets were going to be able to uh, beat up on but it didn't happen so so long it's uh, signing off it's, it has to be after midnight yeah it's 12.30 so should be getting to bed have work tomorrow Hopefully I'll have my eyes open at work. But otherwise I'll be thinking about having a good time rolling this game. Alright, so take care.